Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you three selections for tomorrow's race and before we get into that quickly just want to reflect on how our tips have performed today in the end it's not been a bad day so far as we had a winning nap at Market Raisin with on on Chan in the end he was able to see off all his rivals it was a good ride from Sam Twiston Davis who had him up there in the vanguard throughout and he was able to hold on and just show his class in that grade uh, in the final stride so hope some of you are on that one the other selection that um, at the time recording has run for us today 5 and 20 she ran a bit of a strange race she just never seemed to be happy at any point during her race and if she was good enough on the day she had every chance to to feature in the in the business end of things but ultimately she just uh, folded out of contention and was disappointed we still do have one tip to run tonight in the 8.30 at Kempton, that's through in the shadow, so fingers crossed we can get a good result there, but if she didn't win, it still has been a good day, and yeah, fingers crossed we can have some more winners for you tomorrow. So like I said at the top of the video, three tips for tomorrow's racing, and we're going to be going to Weatherby for the first one of them, where we're going to be going my long shot of the day, which runs in the 3.58, and that's a horse called Bourbon Beauty for Harry Bannister and Alex Hales, currently available at 11 to 1, with Skybet, who are offering four places on this race. I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection. Now, this horse, um, she caught my eye because she's now down to a fair mark off the mark of 113, which is one pound uh, lower than when she won a grade two uh, hand mess handicap hurdle at Newbury at this time last year. So that definitely caught my eye. And I just think tomorrow what might be in her favour is the better ground. It's currently described as good to soft. They are maybe expecting a few snow showers up in the north, but I don't think it would affect the ground too much. And she just comes here off a little bit of a break, which is the exact same prep she had last year when she went on to win at Newbury. So I think the angle coming in here fresh is definitely a positive. She's more than likely to be a spring man. She'll probably be ridden handy tomorrow. They're going to be putting cheek pieces on her, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. If she can get into a good rhythm, up on the front end of things it's not too much pace on in here i just thought she might be able to stay there and outrun her odds alex hales they don't have too many winners but when they do they can often turn up at a price and harry bannister as well he, he's been riding very well this season i think he's on for having him the career best season so yeah lots to like i thought about bourbon beauty tomorrow shouldn't be uh priced and if she can rediscover her form i thought she had a good chance of uh, going well there so she's going to be my long shot of the day. We then go to the 440 at uh, Chelmsford on the all weather, and I'm going to take a chance here with Second Kingdom for Grace McEntee riding for her dad, Phil McEntee in the colours of her sister, Robin McEntee. She, she's able to claim a handy three pounds off the horse's back here. Now, this horse is quite an interesting horse, it was actually bred by the same owners of uh, Mishrif and uh, Make Believe, who's the sire of this horse, and uh, was a bit of a cast off from them has got a, a decent pedigree uh, when you look at it, but it was only sold at the sales for, I think it was something like a thousand pounds. So uh, obviously they, they disregarded this horse, but since uh, joining the yard, he's definitely shown a, a bit of ability in some uh, novice events of the likes of uh, Kempton and Wolverhampton. He's going to be making his debut tomorrow for Mark of 70, which I don't think is necessarily a bad mark. And I don't think this is a particularly strong race. He's going to be stepping up and trip to Marlin six, but I think, with the way we've seen his running style, the way that he goes to the front and he just looks like a grinder, he looks like a solid stair, I think he could get an easy, uncontested lead here. And Grace McEntee does well when she goes from the front. I think she's a good judge of pace. She's got a good clock in her head. And I just thought 7-1, to one, this was the wrong price for this horse. I just thought a few at the top of the market maybe didn't necessarily have tons in hand off their mark. And I think if this horse can get into a good position, sometimes Chelmsford as well, it can favour front runners, especially when they've not been racing on the track for a while. Could be a bit sticky there tomorrow and take a bit of getting through. So if it is riding like that, I think that would definitely suit Second Kingdom. And uh, for me at 7 to 1, I think he's a great bet tomorrow. And yeah, he's going to be my next best of the day. So that's the selection there. We then go to my nap, which runs in the 5.35, a Weatherby with a horse called King Ferdinand, currently available at 5 to 2 for Stan Shepherd and Tom Lacey. Now I'm going to recommend a one point win bet here. Now this horse, uh, King Ferdinand, I, I don't know why he hasn't stepped up to three miles earlier in his career because he's from a, a pedigree that have got plenty of winners over this kind of trip. He's always shaped like a proper slogger. And he really took advantage last time that when he won going away in the closing stages at uh, Huntington. He was raised five pounds up to a mark of 99 for that win. But he's still only a six years old and he could have bags of potential to come. Tom Lacey's been having a good time with things. I thought he could still be well ahead of his mark 
He's still unexposed over this trip. I thought he ticked a lot of boxes for me tomorrow. I think at 5-2, to I didn't think that was a bad price there. And I think he's the most likely winner of the race. And I'd be disappointed if he can go close in the last race there at Weatherby. So there are the three selections then for tomorrow's racing. Let me know in the comments box below what you're going to be back in tomorrow. If you're still enjoying these videos, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe here to the YouTube channel at Lucky Loads 15. If you want to follow me on the old socials, Twitter and Insta are the places to do so where my handle is at Lucky Loads 15. And that's all I've got to say. So please gamble responsibly. We'll be seeing you soon.